zombies. So yesterday was really tough. So yesterday I got a where are you going? That was not supposed to jump off the bed, but um she did. So she don't care what you do. But anyways, so yesterday I got a massive migraine which I get headaches every day and then I get uh, migraines pretty frequently but I haven't gotten one that bad and I don't actually know the last time I had one of those I can like count the ones that have like probably should have gone to the hospital kind of things but um so yeah it was really awful and but luckily, probably like half hour into it, I got like my mom to come over. Because I can't, you can't yell or like anything. It's so painful. I can't really actually explain the pain of migraines. It's weird. My dad, my dad's never had a migraine in his life. I was like, what? Um, but people will, like tell me like, oh, I have a migraine. I'm like, no, you have a headache. If you're not in your room curled in a fetal position, with every light off, every sound, and can't even speak, then that's a migraine. <laughs> but, um, sorry. But, you see, I just apologized to an inanimate object. That's that thing I was talking about. Uh, but anyways, I was more apologizing to, apologizing to you guys. So, I was really sick, and then just didn't really feel myself. But luckily, after I got, um, I put a cold compress on my head and my neck. And that, for some reason, just really helps me. But I can never get it for myself, so I have to get a hold of someone else. But my mom got it for me. And then probably like an hour later, I started feeling better. Oh my gosh. It was, oh, that is the best. Like when you come out of it. And I went outside and... I was like, Mommy, the red fever is broken. Because I don't know why, like, a cold cloth helps me so much. It's like what they do in, like, the olden days. <laughs> when people had, like, red fever and stuff. Red scar scarlet fever. I don't know. But anyways, then I was, I had also not slept in two days. So last night was my sleep night. And I was so excited to go to sleep. And then today... Today is my fault because uh, my parents brought home KFC for me and my friend, just my best friend Alicia, she just recently went gluten free because it, she just doesn't like how it makes her feel and um, just makes her feel like crap. Like a lot of people are getting like going gluten free because it just makes them feel like crap. Um, but I'm actually allergic to it so she said something, she had said like the there's nothing really at KFC that doesn't have gluten in it because we were talking about their mashed potatoes and I was so upset because I was like I wanted to get the mashed potato bowl because mashed potatoes are like my favorite but I guess they like thicken them with flour or something and I didn't even it the the it crossed my thought but I was like it's fries and like chicken nuggets and I I can get away with eating chicken nuggets at McDonald's like I don't have like celiac so I don't have to worry about it in my um, makeup and all that kind of stuff uh, but usually it doesn't make me sick but it's worth it but this they're friend, these were like I don't know what kind of french fries steak fries maybe they call them they were so good and I and then like while I was like when I was almost done with them I was like these are like really battered that's why they taste so good and then like half hour after I ate it was not in my system anymore let's just put it that way so that sucked and now my throat is killing me so I'm like drinking tea and I absolutely hate throwing up but migraines make me throw up and gluten makes me throw up so it's two days in a row throwing up and I hate it <sighs> so at least I don't have that migraine anymore I'm just going to get rid of you. Those things are cray. Oh my gosh. 
I remember my mom just opening the door and it was like, did you just hear my voice? It's really weird. So I think I'm going to try to have some ice cream or something. My throat is just ripped up from throwing up. So yeah, my days have been going awesome. I just really hope I'm, I, like the only thing I want is like, I hope I sleep tonight. I don't even care if I'm sick. I just want to sleep tonight. I don't like going two days without sleeping, and I've been doing that really frequently, but at least I've been sleeping. Oh, sorry, that. I don't want to go sleep two days, sleep, two days, sleep. Like, ugh, that would suck. I don't want to play it. But, anyways, so I hope you guys are having a stress free, pain free, throw up free day. This is like totally TMI, but. I've just thrown up so much. I don't know what else to talk about. That's all I've been doing. I had Bible study last night. That was it. <laughs> Other than that, I've been sick or throwing up. But I'm fine today because I'm low pain, no migraine. Ugh, after a migraine day, anything seems fine. I could throw my guts up and still feel sick to my stomach. Like, it's like people don't, I don't know, it's hard to. I don't know. It is not hard to explain. I don't know. I just said that. Fibro pain is hard to explain. Being allergic to gluten is like, um, it's like when you eat something that's really spicy and your stomach just like burns, like, and you have like acid reflux. That's what gluten does to me. Well, it makes me throw up and then that, and then I get really bad cramping in my stomach. Um, it's like a lot of times I go into the tub and, um, so yeah, that's what happens to me. So I get dehydrated really easily. So that's why I've been drinking, drinking, drinking. Vodka. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I wish. Um, that's my Gatorades. Because I don't like water. Okay, this was really long. Bye!